Hey guys, Jeff from Game Chefs here, and we're live from the Game Chefs game room. This is our game and beta testing room. Um, we've had to move the camera out here. We've got so many orders in, our office is stacked while we move everything into the computer. Um, so today, uh, we're coming to you to bring you some information on a new game that we found at PAX East. And that game is uh, Brutality. Um, this was a rare find. We marked their booth and knew a little bit about the game that was coming out, but we hadn't paid a lot of attention to what the game actually was. We just knew the basics. We had seen the minis online and were quite surprised, and hence why we we targeted their booth. We hit them early on Thursday and it was definitely a good move. Um, the Game Brutality is brought to you um, by the publishers and that is Table Titans. I got a chance to talk to Table Titans and talk about uh, a group of guys uh, that are just really, really, really excited about their game. And I did not remember, I've got some more details in my notes, but I did not remember if this is the first convention they tried, but they went all out on this. Um, the booth was nice. They had an L-shaped booth uh, in, a, in, a, in an end cap. And on the L-shaped booth, they had the sales and marketing on one side. This is for Brutality. They actually had other stuff around on the other side. But just with this game, they had one side with sales information. And the other and the other long side, they had three demo tables. And there was not a time, Thursday, of course, is the light day at PAX. There was not a time that this game did not have tables packed full. We stopped back on Friday after going through the uh, the uh, dealer's area on the very left side looking at what Watsi was doing with their um, with their promotions with pastimes and um, and their tournaments and we came back through and tried to pull a demo in and we did get to a demo table one of the guys gave us a great demo uh, we talked to him we grabbed the game um, they were really running short on their um, they're missing two pallets, didn't make it to the shows. Their expansions for their game, they were running short of. I did not want to take either one of their expansions so other players could get to the game. We do have this game coming to the store. We are excited about this. Um, this is a game we're going to push in our online stores and to our gaming clubs. Um, we're also going to let the local stores here in the Toledo area uh, know about this game get the word out. So I hope you guys uh, I hope you guys look what you see. I'll stop talking. Let's get to this. Uh, let's get to this opening um, Table Titans and you can see the back of the box here uh, If I get it out of the uh, the light, but you can see what those minis look like and we're gonna see those on the inside here So let's um, let's pop this open Again, guys, sorry about the lighting. Um, this is just not the greatest area to do my box openings, but we wanted to get the word out to you guys. So, uh, it's a further to do. Let's pop this open. I know Ian has been waiting for me to do this. He wants to see the inside of these uh, of these minis. Um, so he's been very, very excited about that. Uh, on top here, we've got the board. Now, this is the game board we played on. Um, and you can see the board itself. And it's played on squares. The minis go on squares. And then there's also a winner side to the board. And it's meant to be played as like a fast, um, fast action um, video game. It actually to play, you know, the game should be played almost like a video game. Um, where the pieces move real fast. Um, you are damaging and causing problems on turn one. So that's really, really nice. So let's take a look at this. The first character we've got is the Assassin. And these little squares that you see right here, these are the abilities and these are where the abilities, you know, lead. So this like rushes forward to do damage. Um, some do like this one does a knockback and two damage. 
This is your damage track along the bottom, and there's a little clip you put right on the card and just slide it wherever you need, which is definitely a, a handy way to go. This is the God Killer. Um, you can see the damage there, two abilities. This is the Bloodwood Warden. And again, these are all, there's minis for these in the game. Um, this is the Conjurer. I actually played against this, and the, the guy that was running this uh, particular um, character, uh, he did quite well with this. Um, he had, we had taken out, uh, Ian was playing against me, we had taken out Ian early in, in the first couple of turns and just concentrated on him. And the two of us spent the next 15 minutes chasing this girl down. Um, so it was... Uh, it was definitely fun. I would say the games, when you know what you're doing, will only go about 15 minutes. Um, ours took about 30 just because we were learning. We have the Gravekeeper here. Definitely a nice looking character. Definitely nice. And we have the Monarch Torturer. What a great name. What great artwork on that, too. Um, definitely looks good. Here is the Brutality Rule Book. And give you guys a, a peruse through on this rule book. The rules are, just so you know, 27 pages, and that is not all rules. Um, there's lots of explanation. The rules are pretty concise, and once you read through them, you can kind of figure out, um, you know, just from the cards what you need to do. There might be a few mechanics you have to look up and see you can have overview and um, a timeline of the game. Um, game credits, you can see all the backers when they did this on Kickstarter. Um, look at, they put all of the backers of the game in the back of the book. And sometimes you will see companies do, you will see companies do a few names if you give them 500 bucks or a producer, but look at those names. So if your name was in there, you just got uh, credit. Um, and definitely a nice looking rule book. Very, very nice. We're gonna move that over to this side. And here are our counters. And um, you guys, I don't know if you can see how thick this is. This is a definitely, uh, you know, look at the, the thickness on there. This is definitely a thick counter. These are quality, definitely quality counters when we were using them. And there seem to be plenty. Um, I do not know in the expansions if you get more counters with the characters. I'm going to assume so. Let's look at these. Nice fire markers. Got to make sure that the uh, guys for dust don't go running off with this for my fire markers, huh? And then uh, there's some more here. Let's move this aside. And let's start taking... Well, let's see. We got a pack of cards here. This is... And we'll bring you some playthrough on this with... Uh, one of the groups, like the Toe group, we'll see if we can get a game in, do a playthrough on this. Uh, we'll have uh, we'll have Ian set it up. Ian and Blake can run through with like Josh, and uh, we'll do some. So let's take a look here. This is the minis, and these things, these sculpts are just gorgeous. Um, definitely quality sculpt. Nice, give you the idea. Hands, hand size. So I think these are 76 is what they said. I believe they'd look to be. Let's see. This, I mean, just if if you want to paint, I <laughs> I gotta laugh. I think I'm gonna take some pictures of these and send them to uh, to Uncle Adam over on Tabletop Minions or or someplace and have him look at these for painting because I think he would just love these. I mean, it's not a scale that he used, but I think he would definitely play this game. I know he loves his open gaming, but I think the minis would be some appeal to him. This one, you know, I mean, they've got a little bit of a Malifaux feel to it. Um, you know, when you look at that, you know, but uh, definitely I don't see, you know, opening this up, usually you see a lot of breakage uh, in some games. And they didn't pull anything special. They didn't check this. He just grabbed the top game, and uh, and off we went. So um, definitely really nice. I really like the sculpt. It reminds me of, uh, was it Hero Quest that had the Witch Hunter? Um, yeah, I just definitely like the look of that there. 
Um, this is this is phenomenal. What the heck? Uh, we're gonna have to read up on this guy because this is this looks like it's gonna be fun. Um, wow, what a phenomenal looking mini! So very 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 cool. Last but not least, uh, the gentleman I was playing with, he um, he actually played this. This is a two square um, mini, and it is, uh, uh, you know, it's like your paladin. Uh, let's you, you know, in a video game, because it kind of mirrors a video game, it's like your tank. Um, so uh, he was very, very, uh, he was very, very tanky, and he actually also had the ability to... Um, do some control moves like pull the enemy into him and then bash him with a shield, um, which was very, very cool. So, and here is your uh, markers. Remember I told you on the bottom of your cards, you uh, you had a, a health and you just clip these on and it slided back and forth to, uh, to do your health. So um, that was really good. We're gonna go ahead and open these cards for you. I wasn't gonna do that, but let's, uh, there's no reason not to. So we'll just take a look at a few cards and card quality. So again, I do apologize about the lighting. Um, while we work some details out in the office, we wanted to get these videos up to you guys. So um, card backs. Looks like I got, look at this, I got a little bit of a, I got one card that's got a crinkle here. Let me take that and take a look at this. Can you see that? Got one card that has a little bit of. I'll let them know about that. They might be might want to know. And and we've got cards. These are very 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 cool looking cards. I love the parchment look with the borders. Um, so let's take a look at the uh, the card itself. Um, this is a thicker card than, say, uh, Magic by just a touch. Um, and I would also, uh, we did a Borderlands unboxing earlier video, which may or may not be out in line by this time. Um, and the Borderlands card game. And this is a, a, a little thicker than the Borderlands card game. I'd say uh, equivalent to a little better than a, a magic card. I would probably suggest putting sleeves on these um, if you're going to play a lot because this is a fast-paced game, so it's going to go, go, go. So um, I would definitely think about sleeving those up. So I'm gonna put those back in. So that is the uh, Brutality um, unboxing. I will uh, get a playthrough going here uh, in, oh, in another couple weeks. We'll do a playthrough, and you guys can take a look. Um, sorry about the long video. You know me. Sometimes I just uh, want to keep yakking about something, and I did. Um, great artwork on the on this. Um, put this lid back on so I can show you guys the back of the box again. Again, it's from uh, Table Titans. Um, tells you everything in the box. Your six character cards, your miniatures, your tokens, relics, artifacts, double-sided game board. Brutality, that's it. And I highly suggest picking this game up, looking for it. You'll find it in our store very, very soon. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you guys on the table. Take care.